Okay, in order to generate the most power and most force on the baseball, we have to use our lower half. And a lot of guys are a little tentative and hold back some, but we want to really try and generate a lot of momentum forward towards the pitcher, towards the baseball, and generating some power. Uh, now, there's a proper technique to do that where I'd say 95% of the hitters you'll see on, on TV in the big leagues do. Right? And what you want to do is you want to initiate a little momentum forward on your stride. Then as this front heel hits the ground, this back heel comes off. Okay? So this is the beginning of the momentum and the torque. Okay? I'm square, boom, I'm starting with my hips. Now, here's the important part is the finish. I want to finish on this back toe. Right, when I'm making contact. So I'm here, boom, and I'm on that back toe. So I have a firm front side. I could be slightly bent, but it's firm. And I have a uh, an L shape on my back toe. So when I'm gonna swing here, I'm gonna stride, boom, firm front side, back toe, to get these hips all the way through. If I just sit and spin on this, my hips don't really come all the way through. But if I get on that toe, you can see the extra power and momentum I'm putting on the baseball, extra force, okay? Uh, now we'll bring Pat out, and you can just watch his lower half as he explodes to the baseball and gets on his foot. You may see on a lot of guys, once they get here, after they get here, the foot will come back down, but that's after the fact. Good job, Pat. Watch how he gets on his back toe, firm front side. One more. All right. So in order to generate as much power as we can, we need to use our lower half and get our hips all the way through the ball. 